All right, we're going to work with compound interest formulas. Compound interest formulas are exponential equations. Um, we start off with A. A represents the balance in the account at the end of T years. So here's our T and our T. The principal is your initial amount. And then your annual interest rate as a decimal will be your R. That's right here. And N represents the number of compounds per year. So let's talk about compounds. If N equals 1, that means it compounds one time. If n is 2, we say that is semi-annual. This would be annually. If n is 4, we would say it's compounding quarterly, so like every three months. If n is 12, we would say it compounds monthly. If n is 365, it's compounding daily. So these are some of the common compounds. Now we do have one other formula. Formula 2 is when we compound continuously. So this would be the formula we would use. We nickname that the PERT equation. If you don't have a component continuously, then you're going to choose this top formula. And then one of these n values. So let's go ahead and do an example. So we want to invest $8,000. So that's our initial amount, our principal. We're going to take and invest it for eight years. Oh, sorry, six years, it says here. So that's your time. You've decided between two accounts. The first one that's going to pay per year, compounded monthly, at 7%. So you have an interest rate of 7%, and it's compounded monthly. Then there's a second one having the same, actually I'll change colors here, same initial amount of $8,000, time is still the same, six years, but now we're changing the interest rate to be 6.85%, and it's compounded continuously. So there isn't an N. N does not exist. So we're going to have to use the PERT equation on this problem. So we say A equals PE to the RT. The top one is compounded N times per year. So here it will be our formula. So let's go ahead and substitute everything in. A is going to be our end amount. $8,000 is our principal. One plus, we need to change this interest rate to a decimal, so we move it two places to the left. So that interest rate will be 0 0.07. Compounded monthly means 12 times a year. There's 12 months in a year. Divided by 12 power, and then six years. Let's be a six there. So what we want to do is we want to type that into our calculator. So be very careful when you type it in. Go ahead and pause and do so yourself. You're going to do 8,000 parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.07 divided by 12. Finish off the parentheses. And then you're going to do your caret symbol, 
12 times 6, and then enter. So our end amount will be approximately $12,160.84. All right, the second investment, we've chosen the $8,000. E is our exponential number that will be with our calculator in just a moment. Our interest rate is 0 0.0685. Our time is six years. So this E is in our calculator. It's approximately 2.72, but we don't want to use 2.72. We're going to actually use the button on our calculator. So here we go. Type in 8,000. You're going to go second, LN, which is your E to the X button. Then type in your decimal place of 0 0.0685 times 6, and then enter. And that amount is approximately $12,066.60. So comparing the two, the top choice would make us more money if we chose these parameters.